Oh my god. This is so good. Okay, guys, wait. I am so freaking excited for this vlog. Um, I have decided to take an impromptu trip to the beach. Just because it's like been so nice out today, it's like high 70s and that like never happens. It's like early March in New Jersey. So the beach is only like an hour away from here. So we're gonna like drive down to the beach, um, pick up some food for dinner on the way. And yeah, I am so excited. I haven't been to the beach in like forever. So I just got changed really quickly and this shirt is actually from an H&M at the Mall of America. And then I just have these gray leggings from LuLaRoe and a scrunchie in case my hair is blowing all over the place. There's surprisingly a lot of people. I feel like a visco girl right now. I'm drawing hearts in the sand everywhere. So I got it mixed up and we're actually at the beach now, as you can tell, and we're gonna get dinner after. So we're ordering it right now and we're going to this like good vegan place called Kaya's Kitchen. So check that out if you live in Jersey. It's really good vegan food. We got the food. Oh my God, this is so good. So for dessert, I pretty much got this like brownie mint cheesecake thing and pretty much it's just like this cheesecake with a brownie and then like mint topping like whipped almost like whipped cream on top and honestly the best part is the top part like it is so good mm. Okay, literally the best part of this dessert is the topping. It almost tastes like fluffy mint chocolate chip ice cream. It is the best thing ever. Like, oh my god. Okay, so we just got back from the beach and getting dinner and I ate my dessert. It was amazing. Oh my god. Best vegan restaurant I've ever been to. And that's, that's saying a lot because I've been to a lot of vegan restaurants. So now I'm just gonna take a shower and... Okay. That transition though. No makeup today. I am not leaving the house at all. Hashtag coronavirus. I pretty much have no plans for today, which is exciting because I never have free time. So I was actually going to bake a cake because I like baking. So I'm gonna do that, but first I have to make breakfast, of course. Gotta eat something. So I'm gonna do a little cook with me, I think. Yeah. So this is my mini waffle maker and it is like the best thing ever. Like, it's just so cute. You don't have to flip it at all or anything. And like, it's so great because the handle doesn't get hot. So you can just like flip it up and whatever when the waffle is done without like having to use an oven mitt. And it's so great because that little light It'll turn on when the waffle is done, so you don't have to, like, time it or anything. And they cook so perfectly, and it just plugs right into the wall. It is amazing. I got it at Macy's. Okay, the batter is done and it is time to make me some waffles. Oh my god, I just realized I forgot to plug it in. Love that for me. Now I have to wait for it to preheat. Ugh.
Okay, last waffle, guys. This took honestly like way too long, but it's gonna be worth it. Okay, so I ate breakfast and it is now 10.58. So I'm gonna start making my cake and the butter that I had to soften, I forgot to take it out last night. Ugh. And so I took it out this morning and it's not quite soft yet, but I think if I microwave it for like 10 seconds, it'll soften up. So fingers crossed that that works. I'm pretty much I'm making this like really cute cactus cake thing. I'll pop up right there. And like, I really need this cake to turn out good because I'm actually applying for Kids Baking Championship. If you don't know what that is, it's a show on Food Network and basically like a bunch of kid bakers compete and the winner gets $25,000. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to apply for that show and they need pictures of cakes that I bake So I'm hoping this one turns out good so that I can send it in as a picture Okay, a little side note before I make the cake these bowls are the best things ever Like I think they're from KitchenAid. Yeah, and pretty much just like I love them because they have this like grip on the bottom So they don't slide around the counter when you're trying to mix stuff and they're just like so cute I'll put a link in the description box if I can find like them on Amazon or something, but they are amazing. They're just like awesome. So I know I already told you guys, but this is the butter that I forgot to soften overnight. So now I'm just gonna have to microwave it for a little bit and hope that it gets softened. But yeah, it's okay if it melts a little bit, but like not really. So I'm just gonna put it for 10 seconds and hope that that's enough. Okay, it's done and I'm hoping it's softened. Oh yeah, it feels soft. Okay, we got our butter. It worked. I am so freaking happy. Okay, we have our batter and I'm ready to fill those cake pans and make the cakes. All right, so I filled all the cake pans and now it's time to bake them. Okay, so I just set the timer for 20 minutes. I'm gonna see if they're done after that. Okay, it's almost time and they're starting to bake and it smells so freaking good in here. Oh, they're done. Let's see if they're baked. Oh, oh, it's still jiggly. Okay, that is not done yet. So I think it needs more time, yeah. I'm just gonna put like five more minutes on there just to be sure that it's cooked all the way through because obviously no raw cake okay they're finally done that took like way longer than expected like it was another like good 10 15 minutes after that last update i gave you guys but i think they turned out really good now i'm just hoping that they actually come out of the pans because i ran out of parchment paper and had to just spray it so i am currently editing this video and i realized that dumb me forgot to show you the cake before the end of the video when i eat it so enjoy the rest of this vlog almost without knowing what the cake looks like but you'll see later on all right we've taken a trip to the backyard because we got to get outside somehow it's trampoline time this is very hard to do with one hand okay there we go found a ladybug look at that guy oh my god if you've ever wondered what it looks like to be doing a backflip here it is Okay, this is the very complicated way I get my shoes on after going on my trampoline. It is quite difficult. By the way, these shoes still have sand in them from the beach, but we're just rolling with it. It's dinner time. I'm excited. 
So what I'm having for dinner is pretty much the leftovers from the vegan restaurant. It's pretty much fake barbecue ribs with some vegetables. So I'm just gonna heat that up and eat it. I am so excited because I also have my pink lemonade and that's so good too. And it's just like really good. Okay, by the way, I forgot to show you guys my cake. Sorry about that, but there it is. I am honestly like so proud of it. Just like all the little details, like down to the little like flowers and white dots on the cactuses cacti i think that's the plural but anyway i'm me being dumb i forgot to show you it before i took a before i took a slice out of it but there it is now i love it it tastes good too okay back to dinner we're gonna grab a bowl Okay, the food is done. I am excited. It smells good. It smells like barbecue ribs. Okay, here we go. It's ready. It's nice and hot. Let's go. Okay, the only thing I'm going to add to this is salt because it just wasn't salty enough. Okay, we got ourselves a refill. I don't know why, but this pink lemonade is like really good. Okay, honestly, like I am just chilling. I'm eating dinner, watching Netflix, just like living the life. Like quarantine ain't that bad so far. It is time for the cake. I am so excited. I only tried a little bit before, but yeah, I'm excited. This is hard to do with one hand, okay. I am going to cut the camera so I can get my slice onto a plate without having to do it with one hand. Look at that slice. She's beautiful. I can't wait to eat her. Okay, it's taste test time. I am excited. Okay, I finished my cake. I think to say the least, you can say I liked it. <laughs> but whatever. Anyway, that is the cake again. I think it turned out like really good. The only thing I could have done was make the colors more natural, like in the inspiration picture. I think it's kind of an artificial green, but overall I think I did really well. Okay, so it is quite a while later. I got food color on my elbow. I don't even know how that got there. Okay, I am so freaking exhausted, so I'm just going to end this vlog here. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, do all that, and get ready for the next vlog, because it's a coming.